What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you my updated like day of eating. I haven't done one of those since my very first video. Also, I want to like show you guys what my goals are with this, not only this channel, but I also want to share with you what my goals are in the gym. Anyways, my first meal of the day is four eggs, four pieces of turkey bacon, and a baked russet potato with a little bit of butter spray, salt, and pepper. It's gonna come up to about 515 calories, so let's get that down and then we can move on to some cardio. Guys, just finished that quick 20 minute walk up. My roommate's actually off today as well, so I think we're gonna go play some basketball. He's actually pretty good at basketball and I haven't played in about three years or so. <laughs> so we will see how this goes. Oh man, I just lost 10 to 5. Low key, 10 to 5 is not that bad of a performance though. Anyways, it's time for meal number two. All right guys, this is the lunch. We are going some tuna sandwich with some hot sauce, some popcorn, an apple, and a banana. For Jason's post-workout meal, he's going with the classic pork ramen. Oh yeah. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna eat this up. I will see you guys later. All right, guys, just finished eating that up, and I've been, like, really thinking about what my strength and physique goals are for this, like, upcoming few months. So, for first, I'm going to go over my strength goals, and this is all, like, I want to obtain all of these by June 1st. So, my bench press, I currently am at 150 pounds for eight reps, is what I did with one rep in reserve, so not all the way to failure. This is all, all these numbers are all the way to failure, just max out, go as hard as I possibly can. So I want my bench press by June 1st to be at 170 pounds for eight reps. I want my shoulder press to be at 100 pounds for eight reps. It's currently at 85 pounds for, I believe, nine reps. So that's what I hit last night. For back, I want my barbell row to be at 175 pounds for eight reps. I'm currently at 150 pounds for 11 reps. So I believe I can hit that over the next upcoming months. My squat is currently at 185 pounds for like, I believe 10 or 11 reps. And I wanna be able to get it up to 225 pounds for eight reps by June 1st. I haven't gotten to show you guys my deadlifts because my deadlifts are way higher. They're like, I'm at 255 pounds for deadlifts and I was at like 150 pounds on squats. So I stopped doing deadlifts and started doing squats twice a week on my leg days. For, so I want my, my deadlifts were at 255 for nine reps is what it said in my notes from about a month ago. I'm assuming there's gonna be a slight decline when I first go back, but once I hit 200 pounds on squats, I'm gonna start doing deadlifts again. By June 1st, I wanna be able to do 275 pounds for eight reps on deadlifts. Now for physique goals, this is sort of something that's like kind of hard because you don't really know exactly like what your genetic limit is or anything, but I just wanna be able to gain on average about half a pound a week I want to be able to keep my abdomen tight. I've been doing ab exercises, like just body weight stuff. It's been really burning, but I think that's definitely going to help sort of sculpt out my midsection. And then two body parts that I'd really like to focus on are my legs and calves, then my upper chest area. It's Those two seem to be lacking behind the rest of my body parts, which is probably just something genetics, but I'm going to try to like train those a little bit harder than the rest of my stuff and hopefully hopefully help them catch up as much as possible. My YouTube goals, really, I don't really have much expectations for this, but I want, my main two things are, I wanna be able to enjoy the process, and then one thing I believe I can really work on is just being more creative, like 
have better thumbnails, titles, use the description box better, all things like that. Those are all my goals for the next upcoming months. I will see you guys at meal number three. Also something I just thought about, if I was thinking about like buying one of those tape measures and like measuring my arms and legs and everything, if you guys would be interested in like seeing my body measurements and like get to see the progression over the next few months, please comment down below and let me know because I think that'd be a pretty cool video idea. I'm probably gonna do that for one of the next few ones, but definitely let me know if you guys are interested in something like that. All right, guys, this is meal number three. We've got three chocolate rice cakes, 200 milliliters of Greek yogurt, 200 grams of strawberries, and one serving of some mixed nuts. This comes in a little bit above 500 calories. We're gonna down this, and then I will see you guys at meal number four. guys it is now time for meal number four for meal number four we will be having some mexican food i will show you guys that when i get there all right guys just finished that meal up what that meal consisted of was some chicken breast some mexican rice some refried beans and a little bit of like pico de gallo and shredded lettuce that was very good i think it went around 650 calories or so i'll have the exact macros on the screen now i'm gonna head on home and get ready for the gym all right guys just got back to the apartment going with the yellow tank top today a little bit of a risky bold color choice but you know i like to live life on the edge something new that i just added to my lineup is fish oil I take one of these in the morning and I'm going to do two right before my workout, about 45 minutes before. I've literally just started doing this yesterday, so I don't know how great it works yet, but supposedly it helps with your heart health and it also helps with your free testosterone. It like increases the free testosterone that you produce. So I'll let you guys know. I'll test it out for like a month or two and let you guys know if I've experienced anything different or if it's just like a basic scam but you know we'll try it out all right guys so for the pre-workout cocktail we are going to mix up some of this and some of this and some of this i'm probably going to take a half scoop of the peach mango because this is what my boy david bought when we were at southern nutrition the other day and we're going to mix it with a scoop of this and we'll just see how it goes That is delicious. Time for a pool day. All right, guys, something else that I just started doing recently is I eat two of these Lucky Charms bars. They're 100 calories each, but they go down super easily, digest really fast. So I'd recommend eating these about 15 minutes before you start hitting the weights.
All right, guys, everything went up in that workout. That means we are on our way to reaching our goals by June 1st. I'm going to do everything in my power to make that a reality and time to go have my post-workout meal. All right, guys, this is my last meal of the day. We got two baked potatoes, some Fiesta blend cheese and a turkey sandwich. I'll put the macros for this meal on the screen. Not sure if I'm going to eat anything after this, but if I do, I will let you guys know. All right, guys, just finished editing up a new thumbnail for a few hours. Now, right before I go to bed, I'm gonna have me a gala apple and a bag of Smart Pop. So I'll put the total calories at the bottom of the screen right now. Anyways, it's gonna wrap up today's video. I'm gonna do everything in my power to hit all those goals that I mentioned earlier. I want you guys to let me know down below what your fitness goals are for 2021. I will respond and give you a little bit of motivation, hopefully because I want all of us to be able to hit our goals together this year. Come on guys, let's go. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.